had on a white turtleneck earlier and my glasses and with my haircut I truly look like sadness from inside out which is accurate because I am sadness my eyebrows aren't even Contribido kay lang tao rin. <laughs> Tapos, pointed kayo. Anyway. Hi, hello, welcome. Have I ever done a sit-down video? I don't think so. Welcome to a sit-down video. This is a haul. Yes, I'm wearing makeup. Happy holidays, everyone. This is why I don't do book hauls. I haven't even started. I'm already tired of talking. <laughs> okay, so first things first. Why is there a... Look. It's one of those like fragrance testing things. Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namie. I picked it up truly just because of Reese's book club pick. I don't follow Reese's book of pick, but people who do always say that they've never been let down. And I I want to get into book clubs, but book clubs only always pick hardcovers. Every time I buy a hardcover, like a new released hardcover, I'm just like, that's expensive. Anyway, that's why am I talking about that? This, all I know about this is that she gets sent to like the British country. you're not in the frame she gets sent to live in the British countryside for whatever reason spent three months with family friends in Winchester England to relax and reset but then she meets a boy Orion Maxwell I don't like that name I don't like that name but it's set in England and I love England even though I've never been it's a dream I would like to be in the English countryside and meet a cute boy. Next is Lovely War by Julie Berry. This is about, first of all, I thought this was an adult title. No one told me this was YA. Also, it's much larger than, you see, that pleases me. This is a historical fiction, so it's about a classical pianist from London, a British would-be architect turned soldier, a Harlem-born ragtag genius in the U.S. Army and a Belgian orphan with a gorgeous voice and a devastating past. And then their story is told by, like, Greek gods? Reed with Cindy said she cried a bunch of times while reading this. So I'm excited. I love historical fiction, but not, like... The ones that I like is, I guess you could call it like whimsical. There's like a magical touch. Stuff like Nanny McVie or Enola Holmes. Enola Holmes didn't have any magic. But you know what I meant? Where it's just like not just history. It just happens to be set in the past, but it's like fun. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ning. This is one of those books that I used to see. What is his hair doing? that I used to see everywhere. And I know that this is about um, the family dynamics of a Chinese American family. And that's all I really know about it. My friend said that she also cried while reading this. So whenever I hesitate to read books about uh, immigrant families, because I am from an immigrant family and I just feel like, I'll cry at any mention of family dynamics that even like kind of relates to my own. So we'll see what happens with this. Oh, Normal People by Sally Rooney. Again, one of those books that I used to see everywhere. I haven't seen the show. I probably won't watch the show because I don't watch TV shows, but I want to read more adult uh titles and this is one of those books that always gets recommended for people who want to move from YA to adult because of the age the people here 
are starting university, about to go university, in university, they're college age. So it's like, they're older than the YA age range, but they're not like adult adult, but they're worrying about their husbands and mortgages. But let's be real, who's worrying about mortgages? Because we can't afford it. Next one is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Lee Bardugo, author of Six of Crows, which is one of my favorite books from this year. And that's honestly why I bought this. It's a very popular book. All I know, it's kind of Dark Academia. It's set in Yale. Yeah, and there's a secret society. I actually don't know if people like this book. I don't read reviews, nor do I remember watching a video of people talking about this. This haul is just... I don't know anything about these books. But I'm gonna read this soon. Okay. I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. This was recommended to me by a friend, IRL, like, when it first came out. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'll read it. But I was like, I'm gonna wait for the paperback. And now it's out in paperback. So I will be reading this. This is about a non-binary teen who gets thrown out of their home once they come out to their parents. I think they have to move in... Oh, they have an anxiety disorder. That's gonna be interesting to read. So yeah, they move in with their sister that they're not really close with. And then they meet somebody at school who kind of takes them under their wing. And I think it's gonna turn into a romance. Yes. Loveless by Alice Oseman. This was sent to me by Mari? Mari? Correct me. Send me a voice note on Instagram or something. Mari? Mari? From Mac and Books. She read this. She said it was okay. And she knew that I wanted uh, these editions of Alice Oseman books. So she sent it my way. I am very thankful. And it's very floppy, unlike my Reader's Highlands editions, because it's from Australia! Dating Makes Perfect by Pintip Dunn? Dune? This is about a girl. So there's three sisters. Yes. Yes, there's three sisters. And a typical Asian American, they weren't allowed to date in high school. And then, so her two older sisters, they're twins, they got off to college and like six months into their college, their parents were like, why aren't you engaged yet? And they're like, bro, how are we going to get engaged when we don't know how to date because you didn't allow us to date? And so they kind of made a pact and they were like, we're not going to get married until we have sufficient experience in dating. And so that kind of threw their parents into a panic because they were like, you're not going to get married anytime soon. And so for their youngest sister, their parents make her practice dating by like fake dating while she's still in high school. And that's what it is. I love fake dating. It doesn't matter that they're all the same. It does not matter. I will still be surprised at the end when they end up together. I will still be surprised at one of them having feelings for each other in the midst of the fake relationship. I love basic tropes. That's the kind of YA rom-com that I want. Summer Bird Blue by Akemi Don Bowman. Main character, her younger sister dies and trying to deal with the grief, she runs away to her aunt who lives in Hawaii, I think? That would make sense because this is looks like waves. Yes, to live with her aunt in Hawaii while she deals with her own grief. That's all I know about this. I got this from the recommendation of Alice Oseman. Love her. I will read anything that she recommends. Even though I haven't read anything that she's recommended, I trust her. The Disasters by M.K. England. 
all I know about this is that it's been blurbed. I think it was <laughs> Books and Lala. She was like, bisexuals in space. Sounds fun. Also, look at the cover. How fun. You can see the screen. <laughs> I like it. Um, there's an, they have another book that I really... All my books just fell. Anyway, the disasters. <laughs> that was a disaster. Great. My Lady Jane by a bunch of people. Cindy Han, Brody Ashton, Jody Meadows. This is the second book. Well, they're not. It's not a sequel, but it's the second book in this series of. What am I saying? I think it's called like the Lady Janie's series. So the first book was My Lady Jane, which I read. I really enjoyed, and that was about Lady Jane Grey. She was the Queen of England for like a week, and so they took that historical figure. And they remixed it and there was some a little bit of magical element to it which was fun and this one is about Jane Eyre so this whole series they take um historical Janes whether they're real or not because I know the third one is my calamity Jane and apparently she was um like a criminal in the wild west that's not what we're talking about we're talking about my plain Jane. This is a Jane Eyre retelling. I don't know if it's magical, but the last one. But yeah. It's a retelling of Jane Eyre. Like I said, I like historical fiction with a twist. Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I've been reading to read this for years. Reagan from Purge Project always talks about this. She loves this. This is a world where um, there's people don't die anymore. And because of that, people are assigned uh, to be the scythes. There's no such thing as like diseases, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all of those things and has even conquered death. That's what I'm most interested about how did that come about? How are people not dying? And so of course, with every dystopian society, people learn that it's not as perfect as the government is making out to be. And I think that's who we are following. Yes, we are following two apprentices who are being trained to be scythes. Odd one out by Nick Stone. This is about two best friends. One of them ends up having feelings for the other. But then another girl moves into their school, into their neighborhood, and they, the three of them, become friends. Yeah. And I think it's a love triangle. My brain. Can you see just the pauses of my brain? But yes, two best friends, one new girl moves in, a love triangle. Really like slice of life contemporary stories. Like, not too hard, but also just, like, about the characters' uh, inner thoughts, them internalizing everything, and them going through things ex instead of, you know, external things happening to them. I like- it's like reading somebody's journal, and I want to know what people are thinking. It lies on Her Monsters by Francesca Zapia. I read this. I have a blog about it. Not a blog. Vlog with a V. I really enjoyed this. Uh, five stars. Would recommend. A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. I bought this right after I watched Noel Holmes. Like I said, I am I'm here for historical fiction. Uh, although I don't think this is historical fiction. No, I don't think so. I think this is just... Oh my god. I was reading the back! And I just got scared. I thought this was the second book. But this is the first book. I think it's a trilogy? But yeah, so this is about the two descendants of Watson and Holmes. 
and they attend a boarding school, which I'm assuming is going to be a mystery because that's what always happens at boarding school. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, another boarding school mystery thriller thing. Look at the cover. Every time I see this in store, I want to buy it purely for the cover. That royal blue. Love it. So in this private school, I think the founder or the owner, his wife and daughter were kidnapped and it's still an unsolved case. And many, many years later, our main character attends the school and she intends to solve this mystery. We're down. We're down to the bottom. 22 minutes it's gonna be cut down because all of this is just rambling and i feel like i didn't say anything important which is the theme of all my videos <laughs> nothing important here radio silence <laughs> my husband my love this is the british edition which is why Mari, Mari, sent me her copy of loveless because it matches this and then last Volume 2 of Heartstopper by Alice Osman. This is the British edition. I only have Volume 2 because I read Volume 1 uh, on Libby. And then I might just buy... So this is out in the US now, the first one and the second one. The US editions are so much thinner. They're just... And of course, they're a much floppier because they the US editions. But yeah, great. Alice Osman love her. I will be collecting all of her books. This video was a mess. <laughs> but what else is new? That's the theme to all my videos. I'm, I'll just put links to... what's the best way to link these? Goodreads? Amazon? Barnes and Nobles? I know people link it to Amazon, but like, we're trying to not support Amazon here. I guess Goodreads is also owned by Amazon. I guess Goodreads. Y'all can just read the summaries, because I didn't. I didn't talk about the summaries. Anyway, goodbye! <laughs>